Welcome to the shop. Today I want to show you uh, how to check your uh, camshaft position sensor on your 95-96 Talon as well as other DSM cars um, and maybe show you a possible fix. Um, so uh, this is a uh, 96 uh, Talon motor, uh, the 4G63 on a test stand and I've got a prototype head on it. Um, and I'm getting no spark, no fuel, and the reason is the camshaft position sensor, or excuse me, the crankshaft position sensor. So what you're going to want to do, uh, first off, is you're going to want to, uh, on the harness side, you're going to want to test your wires. So if you unplug your, uh, your sensor with your ignition on, the red wire, you want to verify with a uh, voltmeter that it's uh, 12 volts hot, the blue wire should be 5 volts and the black wire should be uh, have continuity with ground. So once you test that, <clears throat> um, you're, you should know that your wiring harness is good and all your circuits are working. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do <clears throat> is you're going to want to um, have your sensor plugged in, um, everything configured uh, such that the car should run. Um, and you're going to want to probe with a voltmeter, preferably an analog voltmeter, the blue wire. And what you're going to want to see is that going from near zero to five volts uh, when the engine cranks. Um, so you're going to have a little bit of a hard time doing that um, without messing up your wiring harness. Uh, you could get creative and find a way to probe that wire. Um, since I have everything broke out <clears throat> and was working on my ECU, I probed it directly at the on the ECU, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. Uh, if you ground anything out in that ECU, you're going to fry it. Uh, but it's going to be pin, um, crankshaft position sensor. It's going to be pin 89 um, or somewhere up here. And so uh, basically, like I said, what you're going to want to do is uh, probe that. Um, put the ground lead on the sensor ground or engine ground and um, the positive lead on the blue wire and when you crank the engine you're going to want to see that voltage flip flop from around like very low voltage like around 0.1 to around a positive 0.5 as the motor cranks and uh, if that does not happen and if it stays steady at a positive 5 volts like mine does um, your sensor is probably bad um, I lucked out and my sensor wasn't actually bad, it was actually fouled up and dirty. The reason being, I'm in a shop, I'm right next to uh, my knee mill, and uh, that's probably where the debris came from. This little guy is magnetic. Focus, 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 maybe. Um, so in here there was a bunch of debris, and I got that... Uh, blown out cleaned out and she works so if you're gonna if you suspect your uh, crankshaft position sensor is bad uh, hopefully this will help you out with um, diagnosing it and uh, if it does appear to be bad you might want to clean it out real good and because if there's any uh, metallic debris in there um, that could be keeping it from working um, so hopefully this helps somebody out uh, let me know in the comments thanks for watching thing I wanted to show you that's probably going to help you out since uh, that sensor is probably going to be a real pain to get to um, if the motor were in a car and you're not going to want to put your old sensor uh, back in just to test it after you cleaned it to see if it works or not. Um, that's going to eat a lot of your time up. So what you can actually do um, is uh, with your ignition circuit on, I've got uh, my plugs out so I can see and hooked up so I can see them sparking. And uh, you can take a piece of a piece of metal, like a, a uh, screwdriver, and if you pass it through without uh, touching the metal contacts, if you pass it through the sensor real fast, um, that should simulate the crankshaft turning, and you should get a spark. So you can hear right there with me passing it through. I'm now getting spark. And uh, if you were to probe that, uh, that blue wire, you should see um, that voltage fluctuation as well. And uh, 
your your tax signal or your your scan tool should so show the same thing. Um, so I did that uh, before when it was dirty and I I didn't get anything, and now after I clean the uh, the metallic debris out of there. Um, I do get sparks, so uh, I should be good to go. So uh, hopefully that helps somebody out. Um, be careful when you're doing stuff like this. You know, if you short something out, you could really uh, damage your wiring harness or your ECU. Um, so, uh, hey, there's a, there's a fair warning for you. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, 